Hi and welcome back to another video. Um, this one's going to be my settings on Warzone. I know a lot of you guys have been asking this for a while and it's a commonly asked question in my chat what settings I run while playing on my new computer on Warzone. So just a heads up though, I don't know all the ins and outs, all the settings and things like that. So mine may not be the best that you've seen or you guys might have some improvements that I can do or tips on, on what's what. And that would be appreciated if you guys could put in the comments below um, your settings or things you think that I could go back and forth and change. But let's get into it. In our settings, we'll go through the general stuff to begin with. Uh, I go field of view, uh, 110, and then affected on the field of view. Um, I've just always done this since the start. I got told that's what you're meant to do on computer. So when I switched to PC, I just went straight affected. I was on 105, but after playing Cold War and coming back, I moved it up to the 110. Uh, brightness of 50, need, probably need to make that a little bit brighter, but I've always done that. And then I bring the HUDs in all the way. Um, I like seeing my radar near close to the middle of my screen, my ammo, everything else. That way it's easier to just look up and check teammates positions, opponents positions, and everything like that. Square enabled and letters, you know, these are all pretty basic. I think everyone has sort of the same on this. And then I just showed my packet loss server latency in frames per second. Switching to the, the most important one, graphics. Full screen borderless, I know you do get a lot more frames being full screen, but I just, when I tab in and out of game, I hate it when it closes and then reopens. So I just play full screen borderless. We just got the new computer. So we've got the NVIDIA uh, GeForce RTX 3090 render resolution 100 and then just going through these like i said before in the, at the start of the video i don't know all the ins and outs of what every setting does and what i should have or what is recommended this is what i've just played around with and some advice from friends and this is what i've just gone with um, i used to play with quite high settings but now we get more frames and so on with this so i've just gone through this we go normal low high enabled disabled disabled stream quality is just on normal let me just go down here we got the shadow map low enabled enabled normal Again, disabled on this. I think that's pretty common and all this stuff. Then we go with the filmic on the anti -alizum. I believe that's how you say it. Anti-aliasing. And you want to make sure that you will turn off the film grain. I did watch a couple of videos on this. Like the game already has a lot of film grain uh, within it. So you need to just turn that complete off and, and you'll see a much nicer game. And then you never want these to on. The worst thing I ever see is when I'm watching people and they're running motion blur. You just don't want these on. These are just my graphic settings that I'm uh, trying out and running. Uh, they may ch chop and change, but for the, for the most part, this is what I'll be running for the upcoming tournaments this month. Coming into audio, we go boost, master volume at 50. This game is ridiculously loud, so I have my sound quite low, uh, along with my desktop being at 50% too. There's nothing really else to check in this. It's just, just usual stuff. And then we go to the controller. We go tactical. Played tactical since I ever started playing Call of Duty. Or since the beginning, pretty much just always play tactical. So I've stuck with it. Dead zone. Uh, this is all personal preference or, or what your controller feels. If you're getting a little bit of stick drift, you just move this up until you're no longer feeling the stick drift. So you just sit in the game, don't touch your analog stick. If your aim slowly moving, turn your dead zone up and it will fix that for you. I go 9.9, pretty high sensitivity. Recently just switched to 0.8 in both the low and high zoom. Again, testing this stuff out. If you guys do watch my stream, I chop and change a lot of things like attachments and settings just to try new stuff out to see if there's anything better. We go with dynamic on the response curve type. Um, no controller vibration, none. Please turn that off. Standard aim assist, and then I run the scale aim assist with field of view. Make sure this is one people don't really know about uh, for the most of the, the sort of players that don't grind the game. Contextual tap just makes it easier moving around, picking stuff up. Uh, you'll, you'll notice if you fuse this and just fly around a little bit, you'll notice your speed, your movement up and, and, and uh, looting. This armor plate behavior, I've always run apply one. I never actually knew there was an option to apply all when you just tap it once. But honestly, I may, even in this video, try apply all. I'll probably put it in the comments after using it for a bit just to let you know if I do like it or not. And again, slide behavior you want to tap, help you movement a lot. Same with automatic attack sprint. The reason I switched to this is purely because my controller broke and it, the sprint button would never properly work. So I was always getting dead slides. So I had to switch it to this one when new ones were coming in and I got that used to it and I liked it. But I've never ever gone back. So I've been running this since the start. And the other one which I switch off is the parachute auto deploy. I turn this off so when I'm flying in, if you're against someone that might not be as good or just has this enabled, their shoot will always pull at a certain height. And if you can time it to pull lower than theirs, you'll be hit the floor first, you'll loot first, you'll kill them. You'll be able to shoot them first. So it takes a while to get used to. Sometimes you might forget in the earlier days of using that. But again, that's what I run. And that's pretty much it. There's a setting that I run. Depth of field. Miss this one. Make sure this is off. Take that off. You'll actually see a lot better as well when you're shooting at people. Yeah, 
these are my settings hope this uh, helps out let me know again in the comments if you guys have any other sort of ones that you feel like would be better thanks for watching i'll see you again soon